Congratulations. How do you feel? You have achieved the task of taking on Batman for the first time. It's so <laughs> surreal. I mean, it's like, it literally, I, I was just texting somebody earlier and I was saying, I'm going to the Batman premiere tonight. And they're like, you not find it really weird that you're Batman. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> it's really, really weird. And this is the first time I'm seeing it with um, with an audience as well. No so, way. Yeah, oh, Are you kind of freaked out about that? Nervous? Kind of. I mean, I've, 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 I've had enough people telling me that they like it, so yeah. I'm kind of, I'm, 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 I'm hoping it'll go, it'll go well. But and yeah. as we say here, it ain't your first rodeo, Rob. You've been a part of a big franchise before in the past, so. I have been, yeah. Yeah, just yeah, a yeah. Little, little thing called Twilight. It's been, a, it's been a while though. It's uh. been, a, it's been a while since you have like people have really, really hyped like this. So yeah. like, you know. Well, welcome back to the circus. But yeah. what kind of look? We've seen Batman so many times before, different adaptations. What classic back Batmans did you look to to say, oh, this has been done. Maybe this is how I want to bring it. This is my approach to this iconic character. Uh, I mean, I, the script was really, really solid, and um, and then I kind of knew how to do. I thought I had an idea of how to do this from the script, but I just started reading tons of the graphic novels, and I didn't really grow up on comics, and I kind of realized that there was just a feeling that they just, even though they kind of change through genres and tone, there's a specific Batman feeling that really started to connect to me, and I, you know, just quite organic. I wasn't particularly thinking like, oh, this is how I want to do it. Yeah. It's just kind of what came out. But did you ever connect too deep to the source? Because he's moodier. He's darker this time around. Yeah, it's definitely pretty moody. And also, like, I mean, luckily, I was, there was no one to talk to the whole time I was shooting this movie, so I could kind of just basically stay in character the oh entire time. <laughs> is it true that you wore George Clooney's Batman suit for your audition? Yes. How did that yeah. help you get into the role? And how did it feel? It's a little tight. <laughs> Didn't uh, realize. George, what are you George. saying, Rob? I know, I'm really familiar with his uh, body shape now. Oh my gosh. Uh, finally, I, I hear that you were roommates with Andrew Garfield, Jamie Dornan, and Eddie Rayman, Eddie Rayman, and Charlie Cox. So, what was the living situation like on that front? And you've all now almost all played superheroes. So, are you comparing notes now? <laughs> it's very strange. I mean, I wasn't actually roommates. They were all kind of. They were all roommates, and I was like. Always the last one invited. I was like always invited as an afterthought. I'd be like, there'd be like one slice of pizza left, and I'd be like, uh, can it's I like, have it, please? <laughs> like, already for me? <laughs> I love it. Well, you've earned your slice of pizza after this film, sir. Thank more you to come, much. right? A couple more? Hopefully, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, it's a done deal, buddy. I know nice. it. Enjoy tonight. <laughs>